This, folks, is the Mini 1D Clubman, okay, which means it's an extended version of a Mini, hell of a lot more practical. Uh, not a bad looking jammer either. So it's a 1.5 litre diesel engine. It's three cylinders, right? Now here's all the paperwork for you. Not to 100 kilometres an hour in 10.4 seconds. I have to tell you, it does not feel like that. It feels really punchy. And it's 116 brake horsepower and you get 700, or 200, excuse me, 270 Newton metres of torque at in around 1,750 RPM, okay? So that's when it kicks in. Now, at the moment, Mini's all about minimal there's a good pun in the word there uh, and that's all about you know lower co2 emissions better fuel economy and stuff like that so fuel emissions of this are 102 grams which means to the Irish market you're going to be paying very little tax and in terms of fuel economy they're claiming to return 3.9 liters per 100 kilometers now folks I've had this I've driven 529 kilometers and I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised by the return that I'm getting I'm averaging 5.3 the ride is a little bit firm Okay, but it's a low sitting uh, Mini, right? So I, I really do forgive that firmness. There is a bit of road noise and that's coming from this uh, wing mirror here, but as well as that we're wearing 17 inch tires here too. But in terms of grip, the grip is absolutely phenomenal. On corners, I really enjoy taking a corner with a bit of gusto in this. Then there's the other thing, just is this six speed manual gearbox. Now we have driven Mini before with six speed uh, Steptronic gearbox, which was really good. But having a manual inside a, inside a Mini is just so much fun. The short throws between gears, you know, and the, the little kind of, and if you want to use the term notchy, which is usually a negative thing, the notchy noises that come off the gears as you change them, just makes it such an enjoyable little ride. Now I say little, even though it is a Clubman, it's longer, it's what, 4.25 meters in length. It's as much fun as driving a normal Mini hatch. Do you know what I like about the inside of a Mini? It's interesting, it's really interesting. Let's just start a bit of life into the car here, right? I really love this center console dash. I think it looks really, really good. The infotainment system's nicely embedded in here. As well as that, you got this kind of color line going around here and it changes every time you increase the volume or you know change various things within the infotainment system itself. Okay, to the front here, we have an AUGS in, a 12 volt and a USB charge point just here as well. I love these toggle switches here. They're cool and groovy. This is the start stop button. If I press that, the engine starts which is pretty cool it just looks cool it's like being in a proper cockpit then of course you got your air conditioning stuff going on there ac seat warmers and stuff like that as well then you get your center console okay inside here under the armrest is a charger you stick your in my case a samsung in there you close it up and it charges for you that's groovy one thing i don't like about this is under here there's an actual pocket okay storage area and it's impossible to open. Oh, that time it happened pretty easy, but all week I've been like, Arr! as well as that, I love the layout here in front of me, right? We've got a very simple instrument cluster going on here, and I really like the speedometer, I, I like that. I don't like the plasticness of the actual screen itself. It's no big deal, but it's like, you just want to touch these things when you're sitting inside one of these cars. I love the steering wheel as well. It kind of feels small in the hands, but as well as that, it's a little bit thick as well. It's a real driver-friendly type of car. The car is, God, I think it's 1.8 meters in width. It doesn't feel like that, but it is to the front. So there is actually good shoulder room, headroom, and all the rest here to the front. Great leg room too. Okay, let's go in and have a look at the back seat. Right, this is my normal driving position here in front of me, and I'm just under six foot tall. Probably can't tell from these videos. Just here in front of me, right? The leg room is actually pretty good for my seat being in proper position there. The small tunnel here for transmission. Um, however, there is enough room or there's enough seat belts here for three people. No way you're going to get three adults in here. And three booster seats, I haven't tried that. Definitely two, no problem. I've actually got two in around the car at the moment. I haven't got them in because I need to fit in myself. So it's great for two people, three belts. I think it's just to say, if you want, at a push, we can get a third person in. Not too sure about that. Nice center armrest here. And as well as that, you've got two cup holders there as well. One thing I don't particularly like, and sometimes you see it in the Golf GTI, right? We've got a bit of a tartan effect going on here in some of the plastics. Same up the front there as well in the well where you leave your keys and all the rest. Not a big fan of that. I was never a big fan of Burberry or anything like that. So uh, that doesn't work well for me. But it doesn't really matter. Anyone who's opting for this car can change that. There's plenty of different things you can do for it. Uh, the boot space is actually pretty good considering we're in a Mini. But this is, as I said before when we are driving, I think it's uh, 4.25 meters in length. So you do get the extra boot room back there as well. Okay, so this is Car Buyer's Guide. You are watching us on our 
YouTube channel and over here you're going to see a little uh, logo of Car Buyer's Guide. Please click on it and you will subscribe to our channel. Follow the links around the screen and we'll see you again very soon.